What is up, men NFL 25 gamers? If you guys remember a couple months ago, I, or actually just a couple weeks ago, I posted a video about what I called the contain blitz. So basically what we would do is we would contain safeties over the top and defensive ends underneath and try to get the defensive ends to loop around free, untouched. Uh, real quick, I do want to show you that concept. It came from the dime normal formation, as well as any other formation that had two safeties over top. What we would do is we would just contain them like so, and then we would um, contain the DNs. And the goal was to get them in untouched, the DNs. At least one of them to come in untouched. Here you see, you know, Julius Peppers gets a field, but doesn't come in untouched. Um, this this uh, blitz was patched from NCAA, I guess, or something. It's not as effective as it was in NCAA. And so I decided to, to try to look around and, and see if I could figure out a, a better alternative for what we were working on. And uh, I ended up finding something like five minutes ago uh, out of 40, 44 split. And in the beginner tip of the week, we showed you how to fake blitz with the contain blitz. With, with, or, excuse me, how to fake blitz using the contain hot route. And, and how effective it was for occupying things and stuff like that. Well, this advanced tip is going to show you the 2.0 version of the contain blitz. Uh, in my opinion, one of the most effective thing, one of the most effective videos that we could show you all season long. Um, I'm not quite sure... Um, I'm not quite sure if anyone else has, has talked about the contain blitz. I know that Zan from Forward Progress Madden has a lot of work, uses contains a lot in his defense, so he may have posted something about it. Uh, if he did, I apologize. Um, this is something that is very simple to do. I think it's really, really effective, and uh, let's hop into it. I like it best out of 4-4, four, four, but that's because I'm biased towards 4-4. Four, four. I'll, I'll, I'll try and break down one other, one other formation I think you can do it from. But uh, the play comes with 4-4. Four, four. You can do it out of any play. It's all hot rats. I like to do it out of the dog zone blitz personally because that's my base play. What I'll do is I'll come out. I'll globally zone the linebackers. So like so, I'll man align. And you see when we man align, since they were blitzing the snap, they're not going to move anywhere. So I so it immediately gives me good matchups from the snap from the get go. That's why I like this play so much. And then I'll spread my linebackers. And the here's where the adjustment really is. Um, we're going to crash your defensive line out. And what you want to do with this is depending on what side you want to bring it on. And typically, I like to bring it off of the side that the running back's not on. So here it would be off the left. So we're going to put Briggs here on a contain. Um, this is the blitz angle, or this is the, the contain angle you're looking for. A little straight down and a little bit to the edge, but, but you, don't, you, definitely don't want, you definitely don't want this uh, contain angle, and you definitely don't want that contain angle. You want, you know, kind of something like this, okay? So just because I showed that and I messed up his angle... Let's re-get him back right where he needs to be. Okay, so there it is. And then, now you're free to make adjustments with your uh, defensive line. Excuse me for a second. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I've been kind of under the weather lately. Anyway, now you're free to make adjustments to your defensive line. So, you can make, what I like to do is I'll put this defensive tackle in a hook zone. I'll put the right of screen defensive tackle in a quarterback spy. And I'll put the right of screen defensive end in a contain. And this is going to occupy the right side of the line for what we need it to do. And we're still going to have an extra eye coverage. So this, I guess my contain blitz, uh, this blitz is going to send four, uh, which isn't too bad. And you have a quarterback spy, so I don't know if you guys count that as a blitz or not. And But you have this contain. Contains are really good against screens. What I like about this play, and this is something, I like I said, I just found it like ten minutes ago. And what I really like about it is... If you guys run into trouble with, like, slip screens, FL screens, things like that, both of these contains, the one to Briggs and the one to McClellan, will jump screens. So you're and, – and I feel like my, my biggest problem with running off coverage in this game is I get screened to death. You know, last year we would get, you know, outs, 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 outs. This year we're getting so many screens. So this is like a – really good defense I like to use and I don't use it very much I don't use it enough honestly but um, this is just kind of something I mean you have four guys underneath three guys deep you can use the center field if you want to and uh, anyway let's take a look at what happens so you see and of course it didn't work the first time but normally what will happen is he'll come free untouched but uh, it's like a it's not even really a blitz it's more or less just kind of a way to finagle, finagle the blitz angles to get better pressure but you'll see, he just gets a nice rush angle upfield. And the goal here is to get him off off the edge free. And, and it's a lot harder out of four down lineman sets. Uh, I'm going to show you it out a dollar later. And uh, 
I really like it at a dollar. But uh, anyway, we'll get back to that in a second. Same setup, and then we're going to show it to you from the right this time. So we'll flip the formation here and show you that. And, and basically, you would just do the same thing, just flip it. So Peppers would go in the contain. Melton would go in the quarterback spy. And Wooten would go in the, in the hook zone. And the goal, like I said, the goal is to get the pressure off the right edge. And, of course, it's not working in practice mode. It was working like five seconds ago. It was working in the game, too. Um, but, you know, typically he'll come free. And then what you can do if you and, – and what will happen, though, is eventually your opponent will stop, start blocking his running back. So just imagine that those two setups work the way they were supposed to. Well, then what you can do is you can put both ETs in hook zones, man align them so that they go proper to the proper positions. And then you can put both outside linebackers and contains. And watch what happens here. That I'm sure this will work for you. And you see that you still get that blitzing on the left. Even though the right side will just stand there, the left side will come in. So it's like almost like a double-edged a double edged look. Now granted, it's not as fast as our standard double pressures and whatnot. But I think it's a it's just a good look to, to show you guys um, because of the way that they get upfield. And I don't know... If it has to do, there you see it uh, on the left side there, and that's what we're looking for. We're looking for that on on the three man and the four man, but more specific. I mean, if it doesn't come on on the four man, then something's wrong. But definitely the three man uh, version. But basically, like I said, that guard is just not. He's just he's just gonna completely miss him and just come right in. And I don't know if it's a glitch in the game. I don't know why it works, but I was just messing around and <laughs> I crashed my line out, and I was like, shoot, that contain blitz like. Look, looks pretty good and ended up working for me. I don't know. Um, I know that there was a guy, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. He posted something out of quarters. I think it was similar to this because I think I saw something from Zayn talking about it. But um, I don't know. I, I think it's better with the wider blitz angle. And I'm going to get back to that in a moment. But basically, you're just looking for him to loop in. Um, and, and it works really. Uh, I know I say this a lot. But it does work in game mode. I'm going to have a gameplay uh, soon. I'm going to start trying to get one game up a week where I show you guys, like, my just a, my, just a gameplay, you know. Not a game of the week, not a you know specific scheme breakdown, just a gameplay. So I am going to try to do that because I do enjoy talking to you guys on gameplays. I think it's funny. Anyway, uh, we can show you. Uh, and so the, the setup that I remember was at a quarter, and I think it was, like, quarter cover four or something, but... It's dollar three to six, and, and this is kind of where I got onto the spread, the, the spreading of the line, um, or doing it basically from the defensive ends. And so, what I would do is I'd come out of the quarter, or the, excuse me, the dollar three to six cover six. And so, what I would do is I would base align it, I'd crash my line out, I'd quarterback spy Melton, and then I would contain um, Isaiah Frey here on the right, and I'd move him in so that he was going like this, kind of almost like a blitz angle instead of a contain. And the goal was just basically, like I said earlier, to get him to basically just loop in uh, untouched. It doesn't work there. But, it, it, you know, it was working. And then I found, I was like, this is actually pretty good. And so what Zan's video probably looked like was something, I think he had the cores and they would, like, show blitz or something. So the line would be pinched. And so we'll just do, on a dollar, we'll just pinch the line and show you. And that was kind of what it looked like there on the left side was the goal was to get him to... To, to pinch, and I found that it works better when you crash them out uh, after you pinch them instead of just leaving them on those blitz angles they are. So here we'll crash them out, show it to you, and now you'll see. That time he just stood there like an idiot, but and like I said, you know, if the three man isn't working, then go to your freaking go to your four man, and if the four man is not working, go to your actual blitz, and the, you know it's not like. This is actually a really, really tender blitz, I'll be honest. Um, it's not even really a blitz, to be honest. But, I mean, you see, they get upfield a little bit better. And, uh, real quick, let me just hop into a play now. Because I remember last week, I found something really good, and it didn't work as good in practice as it did in the game. And, like, this literally, but it was working in practice five seconds ago, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Madden's got like this super like screw Cody AI when I do videos or whatever. Anyway, uh, I'll link you guys in the description to the uh, video that Zan did um, 
on it because I believe it was one of his most recent ones. And we'll take you guys can take a look at his idea um, that he showed. And, and I don't know, I don't, mine was probably pretty similar. Um, I can't even remember it off the top of my head, but I, I found it out of I, I saw that it worked out of four four, so that's why I'm why that's why I'm showing it to you guys uh, today because I feel like it's really a a pretty good advanced tip because you can do it out of any formation, which is. Which is my opinion. That's the main thing I really wanted to talk about is because it doesn't just have to be three down linemen. Um, it kind of just all really has to happen is you have to have like a stacked edge. So like two. So like for example, four three stack. All you would have to do for four three stack if you wanted to do it is you would just basically do the same thing you did for four four. The only adjustment you would have to make is you would spread your linebackers out because they're stacked in the gaps and you wanted to get them out. So you want to get them on the C gap, not the B gap that they're already in. So. That's the basic idea, but the contain blitz, guys. Uh, looks like Madden 25 is on Madden 12s, or not Madden 12, Madden 11 status with this stupid contain blitz. But uh, I think it's it's pretty effective. Um, but don't, it's not anything that you can like 100% always count on to work, and it's definitely not anything that you would just want to run every play because if your opponent has a decent play, you typically are going to have like. You know, if the if the blitz comes in untouched, you know it's going to be like three seconds, four seconds. He's going to have plenty of time to make a read. The idea here is, it's something that you won't allow him time to like playmaker and and do all that. So, okay, let's see if we can get this to work. So basically, again, we I like to do it out of four four most. Uh, let me just come out in a spread curl flat look. And basically, you come out in whatever you want. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have 4-4 on this. So we'll show it to you from the dollar here. So dollar 3 t 6 cover 6. Base line, crash line out. Quarterback spy this guy. And we're going to send it off the left here. So we're going to Scandrick. And just watch him here and see if he comes in. And there you see he comes in. And that's what I was trying to show you guys earlier. But unfortunately, stupid practice mode doesn't work right. So, maybe we can get a look at that in this route. Yeah, we can. Good. Okay, so basically, this is what you're looking for. You see how the guard just is like, yeah, I can't get to him, and it just comes in. And that's the idea. Um, and then real quick, I do want to show you it out of, uh, I want to show you the two-way version as well. Because the two-way version is what makes this, is what makes this, in my opinion, a viable, a viable option. Because now you can do it even if they block the running back. So here's the two-way version. The idea is to get one guy in there. You see we get the left guy in on that. And real quick, we'll go no huddle. Unfortunately, we can't go no huddle because I don't know what triangle or Y is, apparently. Anyway. So that was the two-way version. You saw it got a guy in. And then that means that if they block a running back, you should still come in untouched. So here we're gonna block a running back. You see the left guy? He got like bounced off, and that's why it's, that's why I say like this blitz is nothing to hang your hat on because it's so tender. But it, you know, the idea again is just to have something um, that you can actually get a decent pressure out of. Let's take a look at this replay here. But but anyway, uh, and then real real quick, we'll show you it out of uh, out of 44. Real quick before I get out of here, I know this video is a longer one. I think this tip is worth it. Um, I think this is a really good concept, and you could, like I said, that's why I think it's a better tip uh, than it is a scheme, because you're not really going to scheme around it. I'll show you guys how to scheme around it later on in this, in this game, uh, later on in the couple the weeks to come when we get to how to play defense, stuff like that. But the idea here today is we're just kind of trying to get you guys thinking about um, thinking about this as a as a viable option, because you can do it out of any play. So that's why I think it's so valuable. So here it is out of four four. Um, basically just everything I just taught you how to do in the tip portion and we're just kind of watching some gameplay footage there the guard picks it up unfortunately and that will happen from time to time um, depending on how much you run the splits I noticed because I was playing like a, a head to head gameplay and I was getting picked up left and right after like because I was just running it to see how much it could come in I was getting picked up by the second half but the first half I was coming in pretty clean so it could be something like that, but I don't know. 
I don't make the game, so I can't really just tell you guys exactly why things happen. Uh, I just know that it works, and I know it's pretty effective. So that was the right, or the, excuse me, that was the left side. Um, that time it got picked up, of course. That's what I'm saying, like, it's really finagly. But uh, when you get it to work, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth, you know, the couple of times you don't get it to work. Here we'll look at the right edge. There you see the right edge does come in that time. You see it gets just a little bounce, but it's not a big deal. And like I said, when you get pressure like that, that's very effective. Um, I mean, you're only sending, you know, four guys, really, three, four guys at the quarterback, and you're going to get that, that loop around. And that's what we're looking to get. And I think it does definitely have something to do with the speed rating because um, Lance Briggs didn't get but Anderson did. So definitely, you know, put, I would say put faster players there when you're doing it. But outside of that, guys, there's really nothing that I've found that really affects it. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it's wrapping up here. Real quick, I wanted to show you also before we went the two-way version of the 4-4. I think the two-way version of the 4-4 is really effective. You're going to get two guys looping wide like that, which is really, really good in my opinion. So um, but definitely add this. Um, and like I said, you can add it real quick. Let me just show you. I'll just make it up out of like, okay, nickel 335. We'll go nickel 335. We'll go nickel 335, uh, cover 6. I think I said nickel 335 like seven times in the last five seconds. And basically we'll do the same thing. Crash line out. Quarterback spy that guy. Um, shift your linebackers to the right here. And then we'll just do it for Anderson. Getting a little wider here. So he's going straight down. Snapping the ball. And there you see the contain blitz uh, coming in off that right edge. Caused a fumble there. And, and uh, guard, slid, guard slid over there. And that was because we didn't um, you know, occupy that guard. But obviously that's just... That's just with adjustments, but that was just the contain blitz, guys. I thought you guys would enjoy that. Thanks for watching. I know this was a little longer tip. I'll try to make next week's tip a little short and sweet uh, tip for you guys, but hopefully you enjoyed it. And once again, be sure to go over and, and give Zan some support. Uh, he's the one that actually sparked my interest into this blitz. And uh, be sure to check him out, guys. He's a great commentator, puts out great, great content, and uh, really has a heart for helping people in the Madden community. Thanks for watching this week, guys, and uh, we'll see you next week with another tip.